Hi guys, I'm Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to upload music or audio to YouTube. Now I'm guessing the reason that you've clicked on this video is because you've realised that YouTube doesn't actually allow you to upload mp3 or WAV files. Let's fix that. I'm going to turn your audio clip into a video file and then we can upload that to YouTube. So let's get straight into the video to get started. Just click the first link in the description. Now we're in Veed, we're going to click use template. This is a great way to style your audio clip and where it says any size, click the arrow down and choose landscape as this will work for YouTube. You can then take your time here. You can scroll through all of these templates, but because I'm actually uploading a podcast, I'm gonna click see all beside the podcast templates and then gonna choose my favorite and click start editing. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna upload my own audio clip. So put your play ahead to the very start of your video and click add media, then click upload a file, select your audio clip and give it a moment here to upload. Now, if you can't see that in the timeline, you need to use the sidebar here, scroll that down and then you'll be able to see it. You'll notice that I have another audio layer in here and that's built into my template. I don't actually really want any background music in my video so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to right click on that layer and hit delete. Now I'm going to drag each of the other layers above it all the way over to the end of my audio clip. That will just make sure that my video stays on screen for the entire duration. Now you'll notice the video layer itself won't extend the entire way. That's because it's stock footage. It's only a couple of seconds long. We will fix this in a little bit, but first let's tackle the text. We're going to click on the text in our video, open up that text panel, and now in here you can type whatever it is that you want it to say. Perfect. Now we're going to click on the next piece of text underneath it and do the exact same thing again. Lovely. Now I'm actually happy with the way our text looks, but if you do want to customize it, you can change the font, you can change the size, the color, you can add an animation here and you can click back and then you can add an effect. Now the next thing I want to change is the video because it really has nothing to do with my current podcast. So let's fix that. I'm going to right click on the video in the timeline and hit delete. Now I'm going to click add media above the timeline and you can opt to use stock footage from Veed here. You just click search, type in whatever it is that you're looking for, or you can choose to add a photo or a video of yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click upload a file. I'm going to select the one that I want. And since I'm doing a travel podcast, I'm going to choose this photo of me in Stockholm. Now we need to place it on the phone screen itself. So we're just going to move it over here and then resize it by pulling on those sides and corners. And now once it's in place, we just need to make sure that that layer is covering the entire timeline. Now the next step will only work for audio. It won't work for music unless you manually transcribe all of the lyrics. But because I'm doing a podcast, I am going to add automatic subtitles. Let me show you how. So we're going to click subtitles in the left toolbar and then we're going to click auto subtitle. Now you can choose your language and click create subtitles. Give that a moment here to magically transcribe all of that audio. Once it's finished, you'll see your time coded subtitles to the left of your video and above your video in the timeline. All you have to do now is watch your video all the way through just to check for anywhere where it might have misheard or misinterpreted any of the words that you've said. And if it has happened, it is a very simple fix. Just click on the word that's wrong, delete it and type out the correct word. You can also change the duration of each subtitle now by pushing them in and out in the timeline or you can choose to use the stopwatches here to time them. Now we need to resize and just reposition our subtitles on screen. Then we can click the styles tab here and in here you can choose from any of these pre-made templates or you can choose to customize your own. You can change the font, you can change the size, we can change the color of the text and the color of the effect. Now if we click on animations in here, you can choose from any of the styles that you see. Just hover your mouse over each one to see what it does. And once you've chosen your animation, click back and then you can choose to add an effect if you like. Now we're happy with how we've transformed our audio file into a video file, we can export it. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings, make sure burn subtitles is marked as on and then click export video. That's going to take a moment here to render. Once it's finished, again, watch it all the way through just to make sure you're happy with it and if you're happy with it all you have to do is click download and download mp4. The last step is to upload it to YouTube so we're going to open up YouTube you're going to click on the video camera with the plus sign click upload a video hit select file choose the video that we've just downloaded it'll take a moment here for it to upload your video and now you just need to fill in all the details here about your clip then you can click next and in here you can decide if you want to do any of these extra features such as add cards and add an end screen and then when you get to visibility hit public and hit save and that's it that is how to upload audio to youtube i really hope you found this video helpful guys and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching bye